Okay, hello again. Yeah, we're in uh, Adobe Photoshop 6, CS6, and we're going to do some uh, extreme portraiture. And with this extreme portraiture, I've just got a shot of a little baby. It's a shot with a D700, a standard 50mm lens. You can see what we're going to end up looking like. Uh, I want to keep this as simple as possible, so there's no selections. We're going to be using uh, soft paint brushes, some masking, and some layers. We're also going to take a look at the new in C60 search function in the layers. Uh, we can search for different modes, we can search for blend modes, or you can search for names, anything you want to name now. We've got this search function. If you're going to have a huge stack of layers, then there's always uh, this function to try and find them. Let's go back to command again and let's go back to uh, have a look around and see what we're going to do. Let's just drag this down here. And there's where we're going to start from this, which is a simple snap. Let's say that it's just a bounce flash off the ceiling uh, photograph of a baby. So here we are with the baby shot. And uh, I want to darken the sides up. And the easiest way to do that is to uh, bring down the uh, brightness. So I'm going to call up a brightness contrast. Drag that brightness slider down to minus 150 and uh, do the opposite with the contrast and take that up to 100. And you can see there we've really darkened things down. How am I going to use that information? Well, I'm going to paint on the mask that comes with it. And you see there I'm going to invert it so it's Control or Command I, which will invert your mask. We're going to have a very squishy soft brush, usual around about 30%. Let's just take this down again. Uh, maybe just a bit more, just to speed things up a bit if I go a bit high. Um, You'll be more careful, of course. I'm just going to waft this paint on as quick as I can so you don't get bored to tears. And I'm really just bringing that uh, brightness contrast layer uh, just through that mask. So I'm painting on the mask. You see there, it's just overspinning the sides. I don't really mind about that with this image because he's got such chubby little cheeks. I might want to bring those in anyway. And I'm just bringing that forehead shine there just to take that down. Just move the brush down 20%. Maybe a bit more in the corners here. And so we've got a nice soft mask. Now if you want to, you could always work on the mask. If you just click on the mask, it'll bring up this new properties box here in CS6. Uh, you can play with the density of the mask. Simple as that. Or we can feather it. Extreme feathering, which will just blur the whole thing out. Which is no good at all for us. But you've got those options in there as well. As I said at the start of this, I really wanted you to do this just with a paintbrush. Not working with any selections at all. And I'm going to stamp copy of this, so that's shift Control alt e shift command option e on your Mac, and it'll stamp a copy of those two layers. I'm going to change the Blend Mode to Multiply, and I'm just going to rename this Multiply. We'll have a look in the search function in the second part of this tutorial. You see there it's popped up the saturation as well. Uh, I'm going to just put a little mask on there, a white mask on there. Uh, I'm just going to increase the brush size, and I'm going to have my foreground color as black, so I've got a black brush at around about 20%, not very strong. And I'm just going to tickle around here with the paint. Uh, if you want to be quicker, of course, put the opacity of the brush up to something like 40, 50%. 20% suits me, and I'm just going to work in there. I know. <laughs> the most exciting thing you can see enemy doing in retouching Photoshop is to play with the paintbrush. Hold down the Alt key, and that'll show you, and click on the eye icon. That'll just show you where you got up to with your processing so far. And we've only used two layers. And we're not going to use selections, like I said before. This really is just for a bit of paintbrush. Uh, stamp copy layer again, shift, uh, control alt -E, shift command, option E, rename this one again as hard lights, it's in hard light blend mode there from the drop down menu, again it's pop the saturation up, um, what I want to do with this is to desaturate, so shift control U, shift command U, uh, let's just type that in there, I'm doing too many things at once here, thinking and talking, so if we just desaturate that you can see straight away we're going to get an interesting effect really just from having that blend mode with a desaturated stamped copy over there. Okay, a bit bright over there. I'm going to put another mask on top of this, so we just click on there with just a very simple white mask, reduce the size of my brush because I want to bring these eyes back out again. Um, the uh, hard light blend mode has darkened things down there, I want to just knock that out, so again I'm working with a soft brush and I'm just painting on these eyes and you see there on my mask on the right hand side uh, that I've actually just knocked two holes in the white mask with the black paint. So it's black to conceal and white to reveal. The black paint is concealing the hard light blend mode we've just applied in this layer. So if I control click on that, that's going to load that 
uh, little mask we just painted on, so I'm going to have to do it again. And I'm going to call up uh, the brightness contrast again. And you see there, Alt click on that. So I've loaded the information from that previous mask we just worked on, and as I call up a brightness contrast layer, it loads that selection into the mask. Simple as that. And I want to brighten those eyes up, but problem is, of course, like I said before, black to conceal, white to reveal. Let's just invert that. So Control I, Command I, that'll invert your mask. Make sure those white bounding boxes are called up around. You can see there we've inverted the mask from the one below. And this time, if we go back in again, you can see there we're working on those eyes. We're bringing the brightness up. I've not changed the blend mode. If you want to keep the color uh, values, it's very similar. But uh, increase the light. Just change the blend mode to luminosity. I'm just working on normal blend mode on this brightness contrast layer so there we go we worked in the uh, mask again you've got the mask options if the white bounding box is around this properties box which is new to CS6 will come in uh, control click again to make that selection available and we're going to go into a hue saturation just to work on the color in those eyes uh, just to show you that you can actually change once you've uh, selected uh, that area of masking we can work in there you see there's a bit of bleed on the edges there um, let's just go in a bit tighter Reduce that, and I'm going to go onto the mask and make sure the white bounding box is called up around the mask. And with a 100% black, I'm just going to tidy up that masking around the eyes there. I really don't want the skin to be affected. It's only eyes to begin uh, to be looking a bit crazy like they are. <laughs> so let's just tidy that up. So there you are. If we've cleaned that up, just click on there again. We can work back in it again. We've got the opacity, of course, to play around in. You can bring that up and down. Uh, you can be extreme with the hue and saturation work. Do anything you want, of course. Uh, just play inside with your hue saturation move it along to there so you can change the color of the eyes again it's a good method of um, selecting eyes, kind of changing the color of the eyes with a soft brush and just a uh, adjustment layer um, just leave that as it is and that's looking good and getting to somewhere where I want it to be so um, there's a bit of highlights there which I want to bring back in again let's just go back out again see where we've gone from um, just need to tidy up a few things but we're coming to the end of this first part let's have a look where we started from there's a simple baby shot and we've got this sort of hard extreme looking portrait shot um, want to work on those shadows next time um, so this really is and those highlights there uh, the shadows around the eyes I want to darken those off next time uh, so this is the end of part one uh, come back for part two uh, and from me bye for now